you want to know how amazing people connect, well, you're in the right place. Welcome to Marketing with Russ, a.k.a. hashtag Russ Selfie. what you hear, please share. Special thank you to our sponsor for this special episode of Marketing with Russ, a.k.a. Hashtag Russ Selfie, all about your construction in Lebanon, Oregon. Family owned and operated, there for all your construction needs. Hello, everybody. Welcome to a special episode of Marketing with Russ, a.k.a. Hashtag Russ Selfie. So glad to have you all here today. And I am super excited about my guest today. Madeline Scalar is basically the queen of Twitter. She is a marketing uh, social media Twitter expert. And um, I have had the pleasure of getting to know her and uh, getting her to actually be come on my show today, which has been just wonderful. And I appreciate that so much. Uh, but first, I wanted to give you just a couple quick bits of information about me. Remember, I am Russ Hedge. I'm an inspiration specialist, coach, motivational speaker. I love to connect with people. And it's so easy to connect with me at RussHedge.com. That's all you got to do. RussHedge.com has all the connections and all my links to social media, my email, even my phone number, so you can connect with me. Also, as you know, I'm the author of Befuddled, Live the Life You Choose. Super excited about that, available in local bookstores here in the Oregon, Southwest Washington area, as well as uh, on Amazon and all online booksellers. So you can go there, pick up a copy of that today. Also have a companion workbook coming out soon to go along with that. So super excited about that. So I love this. I love connecting. I love learning more about people. And without any further ado, I'm just going to bring Madeline in. We're going to get this show going. Hey, Madeline. Hey, Russ. Thanks for having me. You're so welcome. How are you doing today? Doing good. You know, just another busy day in Houston, Texas. There you go. There you go. Well, before we went on the air, we were talking about the big NCAAs uh, going on now. And you're uh, Houston, uh, the University of Houston played my Oregon State University. Unfortunately, Oregon State, the Beavers fell short. Houston's got a great, great team. So it's a fun time of the year. And really, after, you know, this last year of COVID, it's nice to have some of that back because last year they missed all of that. So it's been right. fun to kind of enjoy some sports and have a good time. So Anyway, I just wanted to give you an opportunity first off to let us know a little bit more about Madeline. Everybody that knows anything about Twitter already knows you, but tell right. us a little bit about what's going on in your world. Oh, gosh. Well, I've been doing digital marketing for 25 years, if you can believe that. I'm older than I look. Uh, <laughs> I've been helping businesses with, with their digital marketing. I started as one of the very first web designers here in Houston back in the 90s, uh, and that's how I kind of got my start. I also, uh, when I started that business, call me crazy. I was younger at the time. I started another little side business helping musicians, female musicians, because the internet was new. And so here I was juggling two completely different types of businesses, realized I'm cut out to be an entrepreneur. And I just love everything about digital marketing. And then when social media marketing came about, I was all over that. And so I've been teaching that to businesses, to people, businesses, whoever needs help uh, since 2005. So wow. 16 years now, I've been doing a lot of this for a long time. And being a smart entrepreneur means you got to pivot when the time is right. So I've made pivots along the way. So people know me now as the tw the Twitter gal, uh, basically, because Twitter has always been my favorite platform. And I just focused 
and went all in on it. And, uh, and I go speak around the country at conferences and events, not so much these days, it's all virtual right now, yeah. but helping people better understand how to use Twitter. And what's so exciting, Russ, is that everybody right now is really into Twitter because they're adding all these features, especially this new Spaces, which is a lot like Clubhouse. So it's been really thrilling for me because I've been loving Twitter forever, but I've been watching people love it and hate it off and on for years. And now everybody is loving it. So it's exciting for me. Well, you have taught me so much about Twitter and uh, our mutual friend, Jim Fuse, turned me on to you and Twitter Smarter, which uh-huh. anybody that knows anything about Twitter knows that as well, Twitter chats. And uh, that's that's incredible. But um, I learn so much all the time because to be honest with you, uh, you know, a year, year and a half ago, I was hardly using my Twitter account. I was hardly using my LinkedIn account. Honestly, there was a couple of uh, medias that I think are really, really advantageous, uh, especially to business people that I was not taking advantage of. So still learning on Twitter. What made Twitter your favorite of the social medias? What really lit it up for you on that? So I got onto Twitter back in 2008 when it was fairly new and it was mostly techie on it back then. Um, and still a Con Valley people, you know, it's just uh, early on. And I loved that it was 140 characters back then. I love that you have to be short and to the point, no fluff. And that was always something I always enjoyed because I started blogging in 2000 before most people even understood what the term blog meant. And I always blogged very short, concise, to the point. So when Twitter came along, I was like, oh, this is a match made in heaven for me because I just love, you know, I to me, nothing worse than just reading stuff where it's just repetitive, repetitive, fluff, and just it's like, okay, here is the meat of it right here. And to me, that's what Twitter is. And even now, there's 280 characters still, even at that number of characters, you're still pretty much having to keep it short and sweet. So that was that was what attracted to me initially. Well, you know, I think that people could learn a lot from Twitter because uh, the big, long, super long posts, if, if you're like me, and I think most people are, you just go right past them or you read yeah. the first line and you keep going. It's like with any good marketing content, Keeping it short and simple is really one of the big secrets of marketing because people don't want to read a lot. They don't have a big attention span. Um, and they, especially with social media, they just want to hit it, get the information just within a few seconds and move on. Absolutely. And what's great about Twitter is that there are so many features that are underutilized. So if you want your message to be more than 280 characters, especially if someone is slowing down to read, you can attach a video to it. People don't think to go to Twitter to post videos. They think of videos on Instagram and maybe a Facebook story and now with LinkedIn stories and LinkedIn Live, but they don't think about that with Twitter. And you've always been able to to post videos on Twitter. So there are so many other things you can do to still get a message across. Just a simple tweet is definitely fast and easy. It's easy for people with short attention spans, but there are other things you can do. And now with this new Spaces, which is an audio only feature, uh, that's designed really now to keep people on Twitter for a long period of time. Yeah, you know, there are a lot of real advantages that I've learned, you know, with attaching videos with, I mean, actually through, um, now I'm spacing the name, but I'm actually, this is streaming today on Twitter, actually. Um, they're still available to do that. I think that that's going to change. How much longer? Yeah. It's yeah. Actually, I think this might be the last day. I, th- I was pretty huh? sure March 31st was the last day of Periscope. And what's interesting, this whole new Spaces, which is the audio only uh, feature, is utilizing Periscope. It's basically Periscope without the video component, which is super interesting. Yeah, I, that is really interesting because the whole thing with Clubhouse and Spaces and all of that has really caught a lot of attention. And I yes. think, you know, it, I got to be honest with you, it's kind of nice to have some audio only because you get kind of burnout from being on Zoom, being on StreamYard, all that stuff yes. all the time, which we spend a lot of our lives on that. Um, but uh, yeah, I really, I like the changes. And I think that Twitter has been one of the ones, and, and I think LinkedIn has done a lot of good things too, to really add features to attract people and keep moving forward. I like uh, I like the um, the short term, uh, the fleets on Twitter yes. that you can do now. That's kind of cool. So like obviously coming up to the show, I had your picture all over the fleets 
uh, letting everybody know you're going to be on because everybody on Twitter wants to watch you, <laughs> whether it's live <laughs> or on replay. You know, it's one thing I've learned about video too. A lot of this too, because it really depends on the time of day. Most people can't watch live video right. a good share of the time, but it's a lot of fun and it's great to be able to interact with those that can. But then the fact that you're able to leave that on those platforms and that people can watch that after the fact, I think is just incredible. So um, yeah, but I, I really, I think that Twitter's moved forward a lot. Do you see any new things beyond what's already happening coming in the future? They're making plans for a variety of things. They like to test first and see how things go, but they're really focusing a lot of effort on this new spaces, which is the audio uh, feature. Um, and right now is in beta. I I've been, uh, able to access it as a beta tester and host rooms. But what's been so great about this, Russ, is that, because, you know, we all been hearing about Clubhouse and Clubhouse is very exclusive. You can't get in it unless somebody invites you and it's iOS only, which means if you don't have an iPhone, you can't do it. Right. And what I love about Twitter is they're all about being inclusive, not exclusive. So right now, while it's in beta, if you're testing it like me, then you can host rooms, but anyone can come into your room. So if I host a room, you don't have to worry about, you know, oh, am I allowed to, are they, you know, no, you don't have to worry. You can still come and be a listener and you can even come in and speak. You just at this point can't host a room. They started with just 300 people testing this uh, a few months ago. Now they're up to thousands of, of beta testers. And they've said starting in April, which is right around the corner, they're going to make this available for anyone and everyone to be able to host their own rooms. And they're adding features pretty much weekly. Like right now it's very bare bones. You can't schedule yet. So they're working on a scheduling feature. It'll be so much like clubhouse, but there's, I find it is better. The audio is way better. And to find out it's running on Periscope. That would definitely explain why the audio is so good. Um, they're just doing, a, they're just really deciding to go all in on audio. And we're hearing a lot pretty much every day now about LinkedIn is coming up with their own audio uh, feature and Facebook is coming up with their own and Spotify just announced they're coming up with their own. I predicted a few months ago that this is going to be the year of audio apps. And so far it seems like that's how it's going to pan out for sure. Well, you know, they got to stay up with each other, obviously a lot of, yeah. a lot of competition for viewers, even though a lot of us span all of the social medias, People sure. gravitate to where they feel most comfortable and spend the majority of their time. And so, yeah, I think Twitter, I still have a lot to learn and I still need to figure out the spaces so I can come on after the Twitter chat um, and do that. But uh, yeah, no, I, it's, that's really exciting. Hey, you know, another thing that I really love about you, Madeline, is, you know, in our previous chats, you are, you know, as far as Twitter comes, you're the the famous Madeline Scalar the Twitter queen, whatever, all the different names that they have for you, the expert. But really, in real life, you're just a regular person. And I'm not talking prying into your personal life, but you and I talked a lot about how you really, it's family, it's very important. You really schedule and you have your priorities right. And that's, I just want to commend you for that because I really, that's really neat. And it's not uh, the norm nowadays, people are right. actually putting their families first. So I just want to commend you on that. Well, thank you so much. I appreciate that. Yeah, I'm just a very down to earth, like, you know, I when I did my music community years ago, I became very big in that as well and got really well known with speaking at all these conferences and events. Everybody always wanted to meet me and talk to me. And it's like, I'm just, a, I would always say, you know, I'm just a regular person. Anyone can do this. I, I just decided to do it and, and you can too, you know, and I feel the same way with what I do. I'm just very passionate about things that I like to help and teach and, and just take the knowledge I bring that I take in and then turn around and share it with everyone else. And maybe that's the secret sauce right there. Cause I, it, just, it seems like a lot of people are not built that way. You know, they yeah. gather information and they want to figure out how do they sell it and, and like, you know, certain ways of dealing with it. Whereas I'll just give it away. You know, um, that's just how yeah. I, I think so many people are so busy with the process of making money that they lose track of the real purpose yeah. and the reason they're doing things. And um, you know, it's interesting because uh, I uh, have a, a live show on Wednesdays with a co-host, The Experience Live with Russ and Scott. And our sponsor this month, or well, the last couple of months, actually, is a realtor in the Oregon area. 
but she's a lot like you. She's very, in real estate, she's famous. She, in person, she's down to earth. It's a real small town she comes from. She is just so authentic like yourself and real. And I think that is what, like you said, the secret sauce is. I think the authenticity and just really being you. And that's why you're so passionate about it because you're doing what you love and you're doing what really drives your purpose. Absolutely. Absolutely. So yeah, thanks for noticing. (laughs) I appreciate that. (laughs) There you go. Well, it's working what you're doing now, you know, uh, so no, I, I, uh, I want everybody to know about uh, the the Twitter Smarter a little bit. Tell everybody that doesn't know about Twitter what that's all about. Yeah, so Twitter chat I started in 2015 as a way of bringing people together each week. I, I've been actually hosting Twitter chats every week for 10 years, if you can believe that. Twitter chats wow. have been around a while. And for those that are, are not familiar with that, basically you take a hashtag over on Twitter and we say, okay, for instance, Twitter Smarter Mind. Every Thursday at one o'clock Eastern, that's 10 o'clock Pacific in the morning, we go meet on Twitter. And if you just search for that hashtag and look at all the tweets during that one hour period, you're going to see a live conversation happening. We Basically, I say, hey, everybody, let's go meet for an hour and chat and talk about whatever it is we want to talk about. So this chat is a Twitter chat talking all about how to better market yourself on Twitter. It's very meta on Twitter about Twitter. So, <laughs> and, and the thing is too, you can use TweetDeck or Hootsuite or other third party tools. If that's something you're already using, as long as you can search for the Twitter smarter hashtag and follow along. And the key is when you want to participate in the discussion, when it's live, when it's taking place live is to be sure to put the hashtag in your tweet. Cause that's like the biggest thing for someone that's new to Twitter chats is the hardest thing to remember. Like you might see me tweeting and asking a question to everyone and you'll see pound Twitter smarter at the end of the tweet. So you hit reply and you want to reply to what I'm saying, but if you don't put the Twitter smarter hashtag in your tweet, we're not going to see it during that one hour because we're just hyper-focused for one hour on just the hashtag. Right. And even, even if somebody replies to my tweets, I'm really just focusing on those who are talking within the hashtag. Right. I'll see your tweet later, but I'm just really looking at everyone who's tweeting the hashtag. So that's like the biggest, most important thing. Um, Twitter chats are a great way to connect with like-minded people. That That's really the bottom line with this. Yeah. So if you're wanting to learn more about how to use Twitter, this is a chat you can come on to and you could just learn. I've had so many people tell me they take notes. They have pages and pages of notes. And then some people say, hey, I want to jump in and answer questions because I have knowledge of what you're talking about. And that's actually, Russ, been a great way for me to find future guests for the Twitter chat. Uh, So many amazing people show up, they hear about the chat and they chime in with their two cents. It's like, whoa, where did this person come from? They know a lot. The next thing you know, I invite them to come be a guest as well. But we're just for everyone, whether you want to learn, whether you want to share, everybody is a very welcoming community. And I just, you know, really, it truly started you know, almost six years ago with me just picking a day and time saying, hey, here's a hashtag. Let's get together every week. Who wants to come hang out with me? Right. Yeah. You know, and that, that I really enjoy that because it, I didn't really realize how interactive Twitter could be until I got on that and yeah. had, um, had my, my co-host, D. Scott Smith, and then my friend Jim Fuse are the ones that told me you got to get on the, you know, the Twitter smarter, get on the Twitter chats. And that's how you really build a community on Twitter. So that's been a real plus. But hey, you know, it's hard to believe our time is already winding down, but I wanted to make sure yep. that you give your connection information so everybody that doesn't already know you knows how to get in touch with you. Absolutely. Well, my name is Madeline Sklar. It's a little unusual. You, actually, I think I'm the only, you know, there's some website. I need to find the link because I haven't seen it in a while, but there's a website where you put in your name and it tells you how many people have your full name and how many people have your first name or just your last name. Well, since mine is unusual, both first and last, it said that I'm the only one in the whole world. So uh, MadelineSklar.com. I'm very easy to find. All of my social media is going to be at Madeline Sklar. Uh, because I spend so much time on Twitter, that's always a great way to connect with me. If you saw this, you want to reach out to me, uh, do that there. If you go to my website, I have lots and lots of resources. I've been putting together weekly Twitter tips articles 
for uh, over two years now. So if you go over to MadelineSklar.com, you'll see my blog section. Or a shortcut is just go to MadelineSklar.com slash Twitter tips. And that'll take you right to a direct page that has like all of these articles. And because I've been writing these weekly articles, sharing a variety of Twitter tips, I'm actually starting to kind of expand now. And like this week, we're, you know, we're doing one on Instagram reels, because a lot of people are talking about that feature on Instagram and trying to venture into a few other social media uh, tips and tricks. So that's not just 100% Twitter, but I've got over two years worth of Twitter tips galore at MadelineSklar.com. That's awesome. Well, I'm going to continue to learn from you and I, I really appreciate you. You are so, uh, you're so easy to talk to and that's oh, what I love. You. And it's been great to be able to connect. I mean, I feel like we've talked enough. I can already call you friend and I appreciate that so much. And, uh, yeah, we're definitely going to stay connected. And I want to thank you for coming on on this special time today. And uh, I hope you enjoy that Houston weather. Thanks, Russ. Thanks for having me on. You bet. Hang tight for just a second. I'm going to send you out just a second. And thank all of you for watching today. I appreciate you so much. You know, I know your time is valuable. Whether you're watching this live or on replay, please share, comment, tell your friends all about Marketing with Russ, a.k.a. hashtag Russ Selfie. My standard normal broadcast is Monday and Thursday, 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time with special episodes like this one with uh, Madeline occasionally. And so anyway, I appreciate all of you. And until we talk again, have a great day and a great life. We'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Thanks for joining us for this week's episode of Marketing with Russ, a.k.a. hashtag Russ Selfie. Be sure to subscribe in your favorite podcast app so that you don't miss a single episode. Have an amazing day.